Hi guys, this is Marissa from Imagine This, our in music studio for kids. And today we are going to be going over our art one's lesson for the week. So our art one class, our Van Gogh class, is for ages about five to nine years old, but anyone is welcome to join in on the fun. And so this month we have been learning all about space. We're going to take a little bit of a break from that and have some fun making some clay bowls or pots. So materials that I am using. I will be using Air Dry Clay by Crayola, but parents, Play-Doh is going to work just as well. The reason why I'm using the clay is because it will dry within 24 hours. The kids can paint it and keep it forever. I also have a little cup of water and a towel so my hands don't get too messy. And kids, remember, as you're doing this, as Bob Ross once said, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. So let's have some fun. All right, so I have a piece of clay here that's just about as big as probably about a baseball, maybe a little bit smaller than that. And I'm just going to play a little bit with it, warm it up so that it's at a nice consistency where it's not too hard to move around. Also, please feel free anytime during this video to pause, catch up, rewatch. So once it's at a pretty good consistency for me to play around with, I am going to roll it up into a ball. Doesn't have to be perfect, just do the best that you can. All right, so once I have that, I'm gonna be placing it in my left hand. I'm gonna be sticking my right thumb up in the air and then turning it upside down and just slamming it right into the middle of that ball. Now it's important that you don't go all the way through to the bottom. We want to leave some space down there so that the cup or bowl can sit up okay. So something like this. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to start pitching. So you can start by putting your thumb in the middle, by using your outside fingers, pinching it together. You can even do the opposite, your um, thumb on the outside and your other fingers in the middle. You want to pitch evenly and slowly so we have a nice consistency throughout the whole entire thing. This might take a few minutes, so again, feel free to pause this and take your time. You can play around with the shape of it. You want it to be really tall or really big and wide. Also, parents, please note that it's not safe for kids to eat anything or drink anything out of these bowls. They're just to play with. They're just for decoration. I think I might put some jewelry in these bowls, but just make sure that nobody's eating out of these. All right, so you start getting to a point in here where you see all these cracks alongside the edges, and this is where our water's gonna come in. So I'm gonna dip my finger in, not too much. We don't want too much water or else it will get too sticky. And just rub it around these edges to smooth it out. So I'm gonna be doing this throughout most of the pot maybe down here in the middle as well with my thumb. Again, not too much water or else it's gonna to get too sticky. And luckily we have a towel nearby. You need to wipe any fingers off. But by the end, the pot may look something like this. Of course, we're all individual artists and so maybe yours is gonna look a little bit different than mine and that's okay because we can all make our own unique projects. All right, so that's how you make our pitch pots. We are also going to be making a second kind of pot called a coil pot. And this one's really fun. I bet you guys have all done something similar where we roll out a piece of clay, gonna break it up a little bit, and we're gonna make lots and lots of long snakes. I bet you guys are pro at that, right? You can roll it between your fingers like this and go on the table. We want these to be relatively thin. Let me roll one out and show you. We don't want it too thin because we don't want it to break, but we don't want it too thick. If it gets too long, you can go ahead and break it in half and keep rolling it. I'm going to be doing mine in a couple of different sections. All right, so here's my first piece. It's about how thick or thin it is. It's pretty thin but not enough that it's going to break off on its own. So what I'm going to be doing next, I'm going to be working on the base. So I'm going to make a spiral, roll it all up together. 
and this is going to be the bottom of our base. So if it breaks off like that just did, it's pretty easy to just pinch it back together. Whoops. See, just pinch it right back. It's okay, it breaks. It's just a happy accident. Now that I have this bottom, I'm gonna smush it quite a bit so it's flat. If anything has fallen apart, I'll go ahead and pinch those back together until I have a nice flat little bottom here, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing again. Gonna keep rolling and rolling until we get another piece of snake ready for us to use. So this part is where it gets a little bit different. Instead of spiraling it into the circle, we are actually going to start building on top of each other so it can get some height in here. So I'm making a pretty small cup, but feel free if you want it to be wide, you can make the bottom a little bit bigger. But let me just add on the second snake and then I'll show you what it looks like so far. Again, we're just gonna pinch these two pieces together the best that we can. Keep layering it on top of each other. All right, so let me show you guys what I have so far, just so you can get an example. You wanna check and make sure that there aren't any holes. If there are any, we can just gently pinch these pieces together a little bit more. And we are just gonna keep rolling and rolling until we get the height that we want. All right, so I built my cup up pretty high. As you can see, I have a couple of different holes in here though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna squish these very gently. I'm gonna squish these together so that I fill in all of those holes and it's a little bit more stable. And again, you could have chosen to make it taller or wider, be your own artist, do whatever it is that you wanna do. Okay, so now that I have those holes all pretty much pinched in, what I'm going to do next is I am going to take just a little bit of the water once again. I have a couple of cracked spots. Again, not too much water, just enough that we can stick these together and just clean it up a little bit on the outside. Okay, here are our two different pots, our coil pot and our pinch bowl. Please let us know how this goes. We'd love to see pictures of your creations and let us know which one you liked more and why. Thanks, guys.